the character of the Duchess is this quiet radical. It's full of twists, turns, deception, and just really great kind of high drama. I feel the audience will side with different characters at different points, will change their minds about characters, will be surprised by characters. Altogether, it feels kind of cinematic. It takes you out of your situation and, and puts you on a kind of ride. The Duchess is a brilliant, strong-willed, witty, determined woman who is trying to make her way through this world where society is trying to box her in. Her brothers command her not to remarry, which she then does, and it's about the fallout of that decision. I think what is really palpable in the language is this sense of fear of female sexuality. The play really speaks to the ongoing difficulties of being a woman in proximity to power. For something that was written so long ago, it is timeless and classic and so modern. There is still control, there is still coercion, there is still an imbalance within kind of gender frameworks. It was an incredibly forward-thinking thing for Webster to do, to place such a powerful woman at the centre of, of his play. This is the original theatre that it will have been written for. We discuss a lot in rehearsals about the public and private. There's something so intimate and private about candlelight that when that's shone on a human being's face, you see a different side to them. With this cast and what that space will bring, I'm just buzzing.